In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add a sitemap page to your WordPress website. It's a sitemap that your visitors can view and they can get an idea of the pages and the posts and the products that you've got on your website. It's a good thing to add to your website. All the best websites have a sitemap. And not only is it useful to your visitors, there could be an SEO benefit to having one as well. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Now would be a great time to do that. Just click on the button below, the one that says subscribe, and be sure to click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. You might also wanna go and check out wpeagle.com. There's a whole load of other videos and other cool stuff on there all around WordPress. I think you might like it. So today we're gonna to be adding a sitemap. It's basically just a page on your website, it lists all the posts, all the pages, and all the products. It's really easy to do. We're gonna be using a free plugin. So let's get on with it. So this is the site we're gonna be adding a sitemap to today. It's bowwowtech.co.uk. It's one of my Amazon affiliate sites. I'll put a link to the video where I created this site in the description if you wanna go check that out. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install a plugin. The plugin we're gonna be using today is called Simple Sitemap. It's a free plugin, so to install it, we're gonna go into the dashboard. I'm already logged into the site. So you'll need to log into your site and get into your dashboard. Then if we go down to plugins and add new, then come over to the search box over here and type in simple sitemap. And it's this one here, the first one that comes up. Click Install Now. It's gonna download it and install it into the site. Then once that's done, let's click Activate to turn on the plugin. So we're good. It's all activated. Up here we can see the available shortcodes. So let's just copy this into the clipboard uh, right now. We're gonna need that in a moment. So shortcode is just basically a little kind of Bit of code, but it's it's short, as the name suggests, that displays stuff when you paste it into a post or a page. Here you can see the different uh, short code attributes and values. We might have a look at those in a second. This is the main one you're gonna worry about, the types equals to decide what uh, sort of content you wanna show in your sitemap. So the next step is to create a page where we're gonna paste this short code. So I'm gonna go new page up there. I'm gonna call this page sitemap. I think that's a good name for a sitemap page. Leave everything else as it is, and I'm just gonna paste in that shortcode, click publish. So let's go and have a look at um, what it looks like without any uh, extra attributes or variables or whatever. Let's so click view page. And here we go. So the default is it's just gonna show your pages, but I wanna show products and posts as well. So let's adjust it. I'm gonna go back in and edit the page. And I'm gonna to add to this, um, the short code those attributes we saw, so it's types equals, and I want, I do want pages, so page, post, and product. I want my uh, WooCommerce products as well. So if you're not running WooCommerce, you probably don't need to worry about that one, but I'm pretty sure you'll wanna do a page and post. So I'm saving the page. Now let's take a look. So now we've got pages, we've got our posts, and we've got our products, which there are quite a few on this site. So there we go, we've got a lovely sitemap. So the final thing we need to do is add it to one of our menus, maybe this one across the top or you can always add it down here, and maybe one of these footer menus. I wouldn't put it in the main uh, menu here. Uh, I think that's probably a little bit of an overkill. But yeah, one of these other menus will be fine, so let's do that. I'm gonna go into menus. So this is our top menu, uh, which I think, I think that's gonna be fine. We'll just add it there. So here it is, ticket, add to menu, I'm gonna put it uh, just there next to the cookie policy and be uh, before the contact does. Save menu. Let's go take a look. There we go, ah, but look, 
I wasn't expecting that. Look, it's gone to two lines. So let me do a quick little CSS adjustment. If you wanna use any of the code, if your menu's a bit long, you'll find it over on wpeagle.com. So I'm just gonna inspect. Then I'm gonna come up to the menu. Don't worry, you won't need to do this. I'll say, I'll just generate some code and you can copy and paste it from wpeagle.com. So I just need to adjust this margin. This one here, this 38 is too much. Bring that down. Ah, there we go, we're back on the one line. I think, uh, maybe that's too close. Let's go over 20, should we go over 20? That's fine. Just copy this. Going to customize and close the inspector now. Then let's scroll down to additional CSS, get to the bottom, paste it in. I don't need those two bits, just the margin stuff. Click publish. Now, hopefully we are all done. So that's published. Let's just go back. I'm just gonna take that off and go back the quick way. There we go, looking good. There's our sitemap. Working perfectly, we're all done. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've got your sitemap page all set up and up and running. Leave me a comment below. Let me know how you got on or if you've got any questions or anything like that and I'll do my best to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on the eagle up there. You might wanna check out my vlog channel. You can do that by clicking up there and here somewhere around here, is a video chosen especially for you. So I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.